Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. I wanted to talk with you guys about my May favorites. I have a variety of items to share with you guys today, so I'm not going to ramble on too long in an introduction. We're just going to get right into it. The first thing I've been loving is a hand cream. This is the Elacitane Amande, the Delicious Hands. As you can tell, I have been thoroughly loving this hand cream. Here's what the actual packaging looks like. It is a, I guess it's like metal packaging or tin aluminum, something like that. I have no idea to be honest with you. But this hand cream is so good. I love this hand cream. First of all, it smells absolutely amazing. It smells like the L'Occitane oil, and that is one of my favorite oils. You'll probably see that in here today. It smells exactly like that. So for me, it smells like Cabbage Patch Dolls. I know not everybody feels the same way. They're like, nah, I don't really see that. But for me, that's what it smells like. It reminds me of when I was a kid and played with Cabbage Patch Dolls. The other thing about this hand cream is that it's so moisturizing. I put a little bit of this on and my hands are moisturized for a very long time. I know it's getting more springtime and so like the humidity's out and so like you're getting a lot more moisture in the air versus the winter time when it's a lot more dry and things like that. But my hands are so soft right now. Oh my gosh, like they are so soft. Like if I could let you feel my hands right now, you'd be like, good girl. Because my hands in the winter months, you guys probably saw, they were really red, which they usually stay red anyway. I don't know if it's just like a hereditary thing. I have no idea why. But my hands do tend to stay red, but they're just not sore anymore. And they're very hydrated. I love this product. But there is another hand cream. The extra, the other hand cream though, I'll tell you guys about it. So this is a definite love. So the other hand cream is this right here. This is the uh, Sol de Janeiro, the Brazilian Touch hand cream. Another hand cream that I've been thoroughly loving, as you can tell. This is another excellent hand cream. Now this one I like for a totally different reason. This one is really, really good for like if you were driving. The L'Occitane, I feel like, takes a little bit longer to absorb in because it is very hydrating. This one right here is not quite as hydrating, so this one for me is more just like a touch-up type thing. So like if I'm driving and I want something on my hands, or if I feel like I just want to smell this stuff because it smells absolutely amazing. It smells like the Boom Boom Cream. If you love the Boom Boom Cream, you're going to love the hand cream. It smells exactly the same. But when you put this on your hands, it absorbs very, very quickly. So it's a good one that, so like if you're driving or if you're doing something where you need your hands not to be slippery, this is a really good one for that situation. But like I said, I don't feel like this one is quite as hydrating. I love this one more or less just for the scent. The scent just, oh my gosh, guys, like the mm, good grief. That is like such a perfect summer scent. Love, love, love that. The next thing is a perfume that I've been loving. This is the Philosophy Pure Grace Summer Surf. So here's what the actual packaging looks like. I love this perfume. If you are into like the beachy scents, but you don't want anything very strong, very overwhelming or anything like that, you're going to love this scent because it's a very soft, subtle scent. It smells kind of like a mixture between like sunscreen, sunscreen and I don't know. It's just, I wish I knew what the like sunscreen and babies and I have no idea it's just a very soft very soft subtle scent perfect for the summer I love more softer scents because as you guys know I do get headaches very easily so things that are very strong tend to cause me to have a headache and this is not strong whatsoever this is a scent I feel like philosophy is really well known for scents that are not like overwhelming so they're not going to offend anybody this is another great one so if you were looking at the philosophy lawn for like a perfect scent for the summer this is really good so love this the next thing is another L'Occitane product. So this is the L'Occitane Amande, the shower oil. Now I do love this. Now I will tell you guys when I use this, I feel like it doesn't get as much sudsy as I want it to. I know it's an oil, so duh, you know, it's not going to get super, super sudsy. So what I like to do with this is put a little bit of this on and then rub that all over and then also use a body wash with this because I feel like it works better that way. For me, because I love the suds. I don't know. I know I'm probably the only person that loves the suds, but I love to be all sudded up. Like, I love the suds on my skin. <clears throat> but I know, like, suds can actually dry your skin out. So that's why this is really good, too, because it's going to give you that oil that your body needs. But it's so good. Again, the scent, it smells exactly like the other products. Oh, like Cabbage Patch Dolls. Goodness gracious, it smells so good. This one here I purchased at Sephora. This is 8.4 ounces and it's $25. The hand cream, if I'm not mistaken, this one is a bigger one and it's a 2.6 ounce. I think this is right around the same mark, around $20, $25. So both of these are really good though. If you love this scent, I would definitely recommend checking out these. The next thing is something, now we're going to move more into, and actually no, we'll go ahead and go to hair again. We'll go to hair. Did I do hair yet? No. <laughs> so this is the Milkshake 
Silver Shine Shampoo. Specific shampoo for blonde or gray hair is what it says on the bottle. So here's the bottle looks like just in case you're curious. I purchased mine off of Amazon. Amazon is the only place that I've been able to find this. I know a lot of people are skeptical about ordering like beauty products and things like that on Amazon because you can kind of get duped like they'll sell you products that are not exactly right. But I feel like this is definitely right because according to what I've heard about this product, how it's supposed to work and everything, it is supposed to be very, very purple. And let me tell you, this is so purple that your hands will stain from this. When I use this product in the shower to help with my blonde hair, which is finally the color that I wanted, when I use this to help to get rid of any kind of yellow going on, my hands literally are stained after I use it. Like you put this on and you have to scrub your hands afterwards because it definitely stains your hands with the purple. So you don't want to leave this in your hair for a very long time because it can turn your hair more like a grayish bluish color. So you want to leave it on for maybe while you're shaving or something like that. That's typically how I do it. I put the soap, the shampoo in my hair and then like shave my legs or something like that in the shower just to give it a little bit of time to absorb. And then after that, I do like my conditioner and everything like that. But this is a really great product if you're looking for something to get rid of any kind of brassiness in your hair. So this is perfect for blonde hair, definitely for sure. The other thing from that same collection is the Milkshake Incredible Milk 12 Effects. This is the leave-in treatment for all hair types. So here's what this packaging looks like. Again, I purchased this off of Amazon. I love the way this smells. I know it's definitely helping my hair. I have been using this pretty consistently, as you can tell. I love the way this smells, like I said, because it smells like a milkshake. Honestly, it smells like ice cream, so it smells very, very good and creamy. You put this on your hair, and I can definitely see a difference in the way that my hair is starting to get a little bit healthier than it used to be. My hair used to be very dry, very almost like uh, hay or straw. So it was just not good. My hair was not in good condition. So when I'm using this, I can definitely see a difference. So for me, this is an excellent, excellent product. So I highly recommend you guys check out the Milkshake line. The next thing is something that is a holy grail for me, you guys. This is something that I will probably purchase forever, forever and ever. This is the Differin Gel. So this is the Adapalene Differin Gel. So this you can purchase off of Amazon or you can purchase this at your local pharmacy because this used to be available by prescription only. And now you can actually purchase this pretty much at any drugstore and on Amazon, like I said. I usually purchase mine on Amazon because it's just easy for me to find it there. My local Rite Aid used to carry it and for some reason they stopped carrying it now and I'm like, I don't know why you stopped carrying this stuff because this stuff is amazing. I get the bigger package, this is 1.6 ounces and these usually, usually last me about two and a half, three months. So it lasts me a good amount of time. This does have retinol in it, so you're going to make sure that you want to use a good sunscreen and everything like that, but that's something you should be doing on the daily anyway. But this definitely has been helping with my acne. My acne is completely, I can say honestly now, it's completely cleared up. I, let me show you guys. My skin looks so much better. It still has some like bumps and things like that, and it still has some redness. But honestly, I'm okay with that. I do not have any active breakouts going on right now. The only active breakouts I have, like typically now, is like during like, you know, like your Shark Week. Shark Week, usually I do get some active breakouts. But other than that, I don't have any breakouts. So this has really helped me. And I know like everybody else is talking about like the higher, more expensive skincare. And this to me works great and it's more affordable. I've heard some bad things about this, but honestly, I have not experienced anything bad with this. It hasn't like adapted to my skin to where I feel like it's not working anymore. So it's just perfect for me. Absolutely love this, highly recommend it. Something else that has really helped me to clear up my acne is this cleanser. This is the Murad Clarifying Cleanser. It's supposed to reduce 99.9% .9 of irritating surface bacteria in less than one minute. It says it treats, pre treats and prevents acne breakouts with time-release medication that remains active for hours, even after you rinse it. I don't know if that's true or not, but I do know that this has really helped. It's helping to make sure that my skin is always very clean. Again, this is a great product if you are acne prone skin and it will really, really help you. I think this is a great, great product. I'm trying to move on quickly, but I feel like we're not moving so quickly. The next thing is a mask. This mask is super hydrating for my skin. This is the Paracone MD, the H2 Elemental Energy. This is the foaming face mask. At first I used this mask and I was like, I don't know about this mask. This mask is a little bit weird because it definitely foams up. You put it onto your skin and like it literally will foam up onto your skin. And then you rinse it off and I feel like it really does a great job of hydrating my skin. I love this mask. I have been using the magnetic mask still too with, you know, like I told you guys I would continue to use that. I love that one too. 
but this one for some reason I feel like does better for my skin I feel like it just I don't know it just reacts really really well with my skin now everybody's skin type is going to be different so I don't know if you're going to have the same good results as I'm having with this as far as hydration but it works for me so I really do enjoy this Something else that's, <clears throat> sorry, something else that's been really great for hydrating is my under eyes. My under eyes are terrible. So before I put any makeup on, you guys, I have been using the Clinique Pep Start, the eye cream. So this is the one that you can purchase this at Ulta and Sephora, so you can get this pretty much anywhere. So you put this on before you put makeup on, and it literally will help to prevent, like, creasing this under your eyes. My eyes, I feel like, look better now, and before the, now, with using this, than they have in a very long time. I've been using this for quite a while though, so it's not like I'm like, oh, well, like today it's really great, and like last week it was like crap. But no, this is really helping me, especially when I use makeup. It's not something that I feel like is doing great skincare for me, like as far as like if I wanna use this on the daily to help with like wrinkles or anything like that. I just feel like it looks really, really great under makeup. It's something about that it hydrates your skin up so that it doesn't cause a whole lot of wrinkles going on under here, so. Highly recommend this for under makeup. If you've never checked it out, highly recommend that you check it out. Get a little sample of it, try it. The next thing, because I do have very, very dry skin, you guys know my skin is like horrendous. It's getting better. It's moving more towards the, hey, we're not so dry anymore. But this is the Corez Wild Rose. This is an oil. Oh my gosh, guys, this stuff has been a lifesaver for helping my skin not be so dry anymore. You can tell I've been using this. This actually really does have rose petals in it, so it smells like roses, like true roses, though it's not that fake artificial scent. Love the way this works for my skin. It is like one of the last steps that I use on my skin since it's an oil and I don't want to break it down with any of the other products. So I kind of put this on and then it absorbs throughout the night and I love the way it works. I love the scent of it. It's just something that I really love. I don't know exactly what all it's supposed to do for you, but I know for me it's really great for hydration. The other thing from the Corez line is this right here. This is the Corez Wild Rose Vitamin C Brightening Sleeping Mask. So this is one that I know has been helping to reduce the color discoloration that I have going on my skin because vitamin C is great for that. So if you use a good vitamin C serum, that's going to help with discoloration. It's going to help to brighten and tight, brighten, lighten and tighten. I think that's what they, they say about vitamin C. But I really do like the way this works. This one here smells not exactly like roses. It smells like roses, but almost like stale or like sour roses if that makes sense it's not the best scent I'll be honest with you it smells a little bit off here's what the actual product look like looks like it is a cream product so you just put a couple dabs onto your skin and then let that like rub that all in and then let that stay on all night it is a mask so you're gonna leave it on all night and then wash it off in the next morning the other thing that's really been helping my skin out is that I don't I used to wash it literally wash it twice a day so I would use the Ferreo at nighttime and I would use the Ferreo in the morning along with my Murad I stopped actually washing my skin in the morning, so I started just putting water onto it. So I'm just kind of washing off any kind of residual that's left on my skin, and then I start with my fresh skincare for the day. I don't technically wash my skin in the morning anymore, which is something that I feel like has helped me out a little bit too. The other thing that I've been loving is the Lancome Sunscreen. This is the Benefit. I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm going to butcher it, so I'll just let you guys try to figure out what it says there. This is a really good sunscreen. I like that it's got a little shaker in here, so I feel like everything's mixing together really well. This has just helped me from getting any sun that I didn't want because honestly, I don't want a whole lot of sun. I wanna get a little bit of tan and things like that, but I wanna make sure that I'm protected. My skin, our skin, everybody's skin is very important to us, so we gotta take good care of it. So the first step to good skincare is a good SPF, and I feel like this is a really good one. It goes well underneath the makeup. I can wear this on days that I'm not wearing makeup. This is just an excellent SPF, highly recommend. It's not greasy or anything like that. It's very liquidy though, so when you put it out, it's like very liquidy. I don't know if you can see it, like it's a very liquidy product. So it's going to absorb really well because it is so liquidy. I feel like that's the reason why it absorbs so well into me. So I put it on and like, it is not greasy though. Once it's onto your skin, it will give you a little bit of a shininess to it, but nothing greasy. It just works really well. And I actually like the smell of it too. I love the smell of sunscreen though. So I'm somebody who loves the smell of sunscreen. I think sunscreen just smells really good. The other thing is this right here. This is the uh, Flawless. I love my little Flawless thing. I couldn't think of what it's called. You know, you use something every day and you would think you would know what it is, but honestly, we just pick it up. I don't know if you're like me or not, but I just pick things up <clears throat> and use them. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm losing my voice. I just use them. I don't typically sit there and be like, oh yes, this is the flawless. 
but this is the flawless little razor thing. So you turn it on and it sounds like that. It's a little bit vibration. So you want to use this in circular motions and it's going to remove any kind of facial hair that you have going on. I do have facial hair like around my mustache area and on my chin. Unwanted hair that I don't really like. So this has helped me to remove this very easily. Very no pain whatsoever. There's no pain with this. So I highly recommend that you check this out if you're someone who's concerned with facial hair as well. It grows back, of course, but and everybody's like, it's gonna grow back thicker. No, it doesn't. It does not grow back thicker. It does not grow back thicker whatsoever. So I just really love that product. The last hair care product I've been loving is the Verb Ghost Oil. This is another thing that I feel like really does a good job for making my hair just look very sleek, very straight, very well, curly. You can use it in curly hair. You can use it in straight hair. I just think it really smooths it out. So this is something that I use for smoothing my hair. Highly recommend this. You only need a tiny little amount of this. You put it in your hand and then you just rub it, put your hands together and rub it through your hair. I would stay more towards this area, but I kind of put it all over with my hair being dry. I love it. I absolutely love this. So the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the jewelry cleaner that I've been using to kind of keep my jewelry clean because I don't know about you guys, but there's nothing worse than having a diamond and it's not super shiny. My husband always picks on me and he's like, that's pretty quartz. Either, anyway, so I like to try to keep my jewelry clean because I just think it looks nice when it's clean and shiny and sparkly. So I do have my new necklace on here that my husband got me for Mother's Day, as well as my diamond here and then the diamond earrings that I wear here. So I like to clean them on the regular. And what I use to clean it with is the connoisseurs I think that's how you pronounce it this is the connoisseurs jewelry cleaner it's for gold platinum diamonds and precious stones it's fast and effortless is what it says so when you open this up I'll try to show you guys without tipping it over too much actually I can pull it out so it comes with this little basket in here so there's a little basket and the basket as you can see has little holes in it and then there's liquid down in here and the liquid is what helps to clean your jewelry so you're gonna stick your jewelry into the little basket and then you're gonna let it set for a while. It does also come with a little brush here. It comes with this tiny little brush. I don't typically use the little brush that it comes with. I have a toothbrush dedicated to, I have toothbrushes dedicated to lots of things. I have their own little label on them. I put, I mark them with a black marker. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I use the toothbrush and cleanse it afterwards and then your jewelry will really come clean, sparkling clean. Highly recommend if you're looking for something simple and easy to use to clean your jewelry, check this out because it really does an excellent job for my jewelry. I had my sister-in-law over one day and her ring was looking a little bit like quartz. So I said, hey, I said, you want me to show you how I clean my jewelry? And so I, sh I cleaned her ring up and her ring looks sparkling again. And so she was like, yes, I need to get some of that. So I think it's an excellent, easy product to use. Now we're moving more into things that are not really beauty. These are just like, I guess like random favorites I guess we could say the first thing and the only food product I want to talk about is this right here and this my husband purchased for me off of Amazon I got the salad mix from Food Lion or something like that and it had the edamame in it and I was like I really enjoy edamame and so he's like hmm I'll get you some edamame so he got me this giant thing of edamame this is 27 ounces of edamame this is 130 calories for a third cup it has a lot of protein in here. You're gonna get 13 grams of protein. It's got one gram of sugar, uh, 11 grams of carbs, which if you're a carb counter, then this is probably not something you're gonna want. But for me, I just really enjoy it because it's a very filling snack. I just grab a small handful of these and then just start chomping on them. And I feel like it's a great healthy snack for me. These are lightly salted with sea salt, so I really enjoy them. I think they're delicious. So if you're looking for a more healthy snack, Definitely check out the edamame because they're really, really good. And on Amazon, you got the giant cup of these. I don't know how much it was. It wasn't very much, I'm sure. So they're really delicious. Now we're going to move on to some clothing favorites. So let me get everything over here. I have everything piled up around me. So the first thing I want to talk about is a bralette. I showed you guys a stitch fix video, I think it was. And I was trying to figure out what kind of bra you put underneath of a dress. And I'm like, I don't know what to use under it. And you guys all suggested like a lace bralette type thing underneath of it. So I was looking on Costco one day and I was like, hey, let's check what kind of intimate do they have? So they had little bralettes. So I was like, let's see which ones they have. So hang on one second. Just dropped one of the items here. <clears throat> so I was looking at their stuff and they have little lace bralettes. So I found these right here. So here's what they look like. They're just little bralettes, little lacy bralettes. And they go up the back like this. This one has not been worn yet, guys, so no worries. I'm not showing you a dirty bra or anything. 
This is a purple one. So it comes in packs of two and they have lace around the bottom. They're very comfortable. I don't know if you guys are know it or not, but I have an inverted sternum. So for me, I have to use things that are not really tight pressed against my chest. I have to be very careful about that. And this is very comfortable against my chest. So when you get them, they come in a pack of two like this. I picked up a couple packs because I was like, after I purchased the first pack and realized how much I loved it, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get more. So I got the purple and white pack. They come in a black and gray pack. So you can get them on Amazon, not Amazon, Costco. I don't know if you have to be a member to get them or not, but I'm pretty sure you don't have to be. Uh, but they are, I think they're like $15 for two of them. And I think that's an excellent value. So it was 15 or 20. Either way, they were not very expensive at all. They're very comfortable, very easy to wear. So there again is what they look like when you put them on because they've got some uh, boobies in them, I guess. <laughs> but they're just cute. They're lacy and you can wear them underneath the tank tops and they just look cute. That little peekaboo of your lace coming through is cute. And underneath of my dress, the little one that I bought, I wore the white one underneath of it and I really liked the way it looked. So you guys were right. That was the perfect solution for that dress. It looks cute like that. The next thing is my Toms. I love these shoes. They are so comfortable. I have worn them a lot lately. We go to a little pizza place near us and it's a pet friendly pizza place. So I like to take our dogs with us or one of our dogs at least. I feel like to take one at a time and like alternate who's coming. So these are just really comfortable to wear there while I'm taking them and walking them and things like that. Just, I love these shoes. They're so very comfortable. I know a lot of people used to talk about how Toms were comfortable and I was like, I don't know how they're comfortable. And to me, they're not that pretty. They're just not the prettiest shoes ever, but they're so comfortable. They're so light. Like I said, walking my dogs with these is the best thing that I've found for me because I like to take them on a little bit of walks and things like that because it's good for them. It's good for me. So we're both benefiting, both benefiting from it and they're just very comfortable. So recommend Tom's if you've never checked them out because it was something that I was always hesitant about because I was like, they're not that cute. We got to get into beauty favorites too. So we'll come back to that. So we'll go back to, we're going to finish the clothing. So this is a lightweight jacket. Here in Virginia, we've had rain upon rain upon rain recently. So we've had so much rain, it's crazy. I actually planted flowers and we had so much rain that it actually waterlogged some of my flowers and killed them. I was like, are you kidding me? So anyway, I had to replant those. But anyway, a little cute jacket that I've been wearing because rain equals chilly, right? In my opinion, I don't like rain. Rain, I get cold. So this is a really cute jacket that I've been wearing with the rain going on. This is a Helly Hansen little jacket. It's pink and orange. I just think it's a really cute jacket. It does have these little polka dots here. I don't know if you can see them, but it actually is, you can see the polka dots through the jacket too. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but you can see them through the jacket as well. It's like when you're wearing it, you can see polka dots. It's really strange in a way, but the jacket's so comfortable. It's lightweight, but yet it's got a little bit of warmth to it because it's got a little bit of fleece lining in here. And I know you guys are probably like, wait, it's summertime. Why are you wearing a rain jacket? And I denied my stitch fitch jacket, which I should have gotten that one. But either way, I really like this one. This is one that I've had in the closet and I really love this jacket. It's so comfortable. If you guys have ever checked out Helly Hansen, it's a really great brand. I think their clothing is very nice and it's very comfortable. It lasts a long time. So definitely check out Helly Hansen if you've never checked them out. The next thing is another clothing item and these are the most perfect, comfortable yoga pants I've ever had in my entire life. Are they leggings? Do they call them leggings or yoga pants? I have no idea. They're the same to me. They're just called sports pants. I have no idea. These are the Victoria's Secret Total Knockout Tights and these are the ones with down the side here. I don't know if I can, you can see it or not, but down the side they have like this detail. So it's so cute. Let me see if I can put my hands through it so you can see it better. So it's got this cute detail here. It just looks so cute when you have these on your legs because it's got that extra detail. They are so lightweight. They've got some cinching detail on the sides too of the top. They're so lightweight. They're so soft. Like literally to touch these, they feel like silk. They are so comfortable. They wash really well. Like these have been washed, I don't even know how many times. I love these. If you guys are looking for a good legging to wear for this spring, summer, whatever, these are really good. I get mine in the size medium and they fit perfectly. Perfect for length, perfect for waist and everything. So they're 
I mean, they're leggings. They're supposed to be tight, right? So I love the way these feel. They are so, so comfortable. Highly recommend them. I have seen them still on, on Sephora, on to Victoria's Secret. So if you're curious about them, maybe I can try to find a link for you guys. But either way, I will definitely find the name for them and let you guys know the exact name. So over there, you can check them out if you're looking for a very soft, comfortable legging. I wear leggings year round. Honestly, I know a lot of people wear a lot of shorts and things like that, but I just, I live in leggings because the office where I work out, I usually wear leggings to, uh, to work because I work with my husband. So I wear leggings and it's nice and cold in the office. So I just, I love leggings. So that is the last clothing item. Now we're going to go on to the makeup favorite. So I have not too many makeup items to share with you guys. I know this favorites is quite long this month, but honestly, I just have so many things that I wanted to talk with you guys about because I've just been loving so much. So the first thing is my eyelash curler. So this is the Tarte eyelash curler. This is the one that's supposed to be like the, I guess it's the mermaid tail or something. These, these. This eyelash curler does an excellent job for me. I feel like it doesn't pull my lashes or anything like that. I don't have to worry about getting it so close that I feel like I pinched my eyelid or anything. They're, it's got a perfect curvature to it. I feel like it's just a great set of eyelash curlers. Really love them. They're very comfortable, very easy to use. I love these. Highly recommend them. I, hopefully they're still in stock because I know a lot of their mermaid stuff, they're getting kind of, they're like dwindling it out of Sephora and things. But that's why I did get them with Sephora. The next thing I've been loving is the Too Faced Peach Perfect. This is the Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. You guys are probably like, wait, didn't you just say you have dry skin? Yes, this works with my dry skin. Honestly, I have this on today a little bit all over. I would say here, here, and here, but I mean, it's pretty much all over. And it works for my dry skin. I love the way it smells. It tastes good. You know, you're not supposed to be eating it, but when you're fluffing powder all over your face, everybody tastes it. It just is an excellent product. It does come with this little cap here. Some people don't like it and they just pull that cap off so that way there you can still use your product. I don't mind the cap because what I typically do is I'll take a little bit of this and pour it into the lid and whatever's left on here, I'll put it back into the container and then put it back in. It is a little bit messy because it's a loose powder. So, you know, all loose powders are a little bit messy in my opinion. I don't think that you can get away with out being messy with a loose powder, but it just works really well for like setting all over my face for my dry skin. I think it works great with dry skin. I don't find that I have any dry patches accentuated or anything like that. Highly recommend this. Smells good, tastes good. The next thing is my brow product that I've been loving. Influencer sent this to me and I was like very hesitant to use it when I first got it. If you're not familiar with Influencer, Influencer is a program that will send you products to test out and then all they want you to do is give your honest opinion. They'll do you like a little thing that you have to fill out and everything. This is the Kat Von D, the Super Brow. Oh my gosh, guys, I literally love this. I love this so much. I've heard some people say that they feel like it's not that great. I love it. I'm wearing it today on my brows. I feel like my brows look better now than they have in a long time and it's because of this. I absolutely love this. A little definitely goes a long way with any kind of pomade though. I feel like any kind of pomade that you use is gonna go just a little, you only need a little dabble, do ya? And that's exactly what this is, a little dabble, do ya? Highly recommend this. I feel like 20 bucks for this is, it's gonna last a very long time too because like I said, a little dabble, do ya? So you're gonna be able to use this for a very long time. Highly recommend, check it out for sure. The next thing is the something else that I've been loving and it's a, not a highlighter, but like a primer. So this is the Becca First Light Primer. I love this one because it definitely gives me a little bit of hydration. It doesn't give me a whole lot of glowiness. Let me see if I can put it on my hand and show you guys. It doesn't give me a whole lot of glowiness, but it really gives me some hydration. And my skin, as you guys know, like I said, like 16 times during this video, my skin is very dry. So there is what it looks like. It's purple when it comes out and then you're just going to rub it in. It's going to give your skin a little bit of illumination, but it really feels so hydrating. It literally feels like you're putting a water molecules. <laughs> it sounds weird. Water molecules onto your skin and you're just like, yes, that's what I needed. Now look at that hydration and look at how much the glowiness is. It's natural glow too. This is something I feel like I can wear on days that I'm not wearing makeup. I just want to put a little bit of this on my skin to give it some hydration and give it that glowiness that looks so perfect for summer because everything's all glowy during the summer and spring. Highly recommend this as well. If you've ever checked it out or if you've ever tried it, you probably know it's a really great product. If not, definitely get a sample of it and try it. The next thing is a palette. I got this palette and I was like, I don't know about this palette. It's a little bit weird, but I really like it. This is the Shayla Times Colourpop palette. This is called the Perception palette. 
So here's what the colors look like in here. The colors are so beautiful. Shayla did an excellent job picking out these colors. I think they're absolutely amazing. The only thing that I wish this palette had is a matte, like a cream shade. That's the only thing that I feel like this palette could use. Other than that, I think this is an excellent palette. I haven't found one color in here that I'm like, ugh, I'm never going to use that. I have used every color in here and I have thoroughly enjoyed, enjoyed, enjoyed. I have thoroughly enjoyed every single color that I've used in here. It's just a beautiful, beautiful palette. So great job, Shayla. You did an excellent job with the collaboration on this palette. So in love. The next thing is a product here by MAC. This is an oldie but a goodie. This is the MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. This is like a OG highlighter that is still really beautiful. I feel like this highlighter just looks so beautiful onto the skin. Let me show you. Look how beautiful that is right there. I'll give you guys a little swatch of Rooney. Look. Oh my gosh, look. Look how beautiful that is. I mean, how can you go wrong with MAC Soft and Gentle? I, I don't know. I really don't. I think this is the most beautiful highlighter I have in my collection, to be honest with you. And I have quite a few. I have a drawer full, to be honest with you. So if this is my favorite out of all of them that I have, I feel like that says something because it just looks so good on my skin. It doesn't accentuate any kind of like texture I have on my skin. It just always looks beautiful. I can use it for inner corner highlight. I can use it for highlight. I can use this for an eyeshadow. It's just an excellent, excellent product. The last two items I have to share with you guys are lip products. One is on my lips. It is the Tarte, the Rainforest of the Sea, I think it's called. Or is it the Rainforest of the Sea? I don't even know. It's the ones that come in the blue packaging. And this one is called Island Life. I love this color. You guys tell me, do you think this color is like my color or not? I feel like this is a perfect color for me. I don't know why, but I just do. I'll swatch it for you so you can see what it looks like. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. So hydrating. I love anything hydrating, as you guys know, because I told you guys I'm like 16 shades of dry, so 50 shades of dry. So I just love this product. It's so easy to wear, so comfortable, so hydrating. It's just perfect for me. Highly recommend the little, I don't even know what they're called though, honestly. What are they called, guys? You guys don't have to tell me. I have no idea. Maybe it says on here somewhere. It says the color splash. That's what it is. I need like a magnifying glass or something because I couldn't read that. And then the last lip product is a Ulta lip product. This is the Ulta Beauty. This one is called, oh my gosh, again, I can't see. This is the Flush Pink. These are like the metallicized lip products. Here's what the color itself looks like. It is so, so pretty. I know a lot of people don't like metallic -y lips. I personally do. I think they're beautiful. Here's what the color looks like. Look how pretty that is. Tell me that doesn't look like springtime. That is such a perfect spring color in my opinion. I feel like it just looks so beautiful on my lips. It's a little bit darker than what my lip color is and it gives just a beautiful hue. I love the way this looks. I love the way it wears. Very affordable. So something that I feel like is not going to break the bank if I end up losing this one and I need to replace it or whatever. I just love it. It definitely has a little bit of sparkle in it because it's got the metallicized to it. So if you don't like metallic-y things, you may not enjoy those, but I think they're absolutely amazing. So that is the end of my favorites here with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this super long video. Hopefully you stuck through the end. If you stuck to the end, leave me a sunshine emoji. So because you guys know that it's getting spring, or it's getting spring. It's going to be summer here soon, so let's just leave us everybody a sunshine, sunshine emoji. I couldn't speak. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any comments about anything that I've showed you guys today. Or if you have any suggestions on things that maybe that I should try. Because I am always willing to try new products. As you guys know, I'm a shopper. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. <music>